Welcome to Oil for the Journey. I am your journey reader, Alexis, and today's reading is taken from 2 Chronicles chapters yeah, 2 Chronicles chapters 35 to 36. Our scheduled reading follows the Bridges for Peace Ignite the Truth Bible plan. I will be reading from the ESV version, ESV version, sorry. So feel free to follow along if you want to, or just to keep me in your ear. 2 Chronicles 35 Josiah keeps the Passover Josiah kept the Passover to the Lord in Jerusalem, and they slaughtered the Passover lamb on the fourteenth day of the first month. And he appointed the priests to their offices, and encouraged them to ser- and encouraged them in the service of the house of the Lord. And he said to the Levites, who taught all Israel, and who were the ho- who were holy to the Lord, Put the holy ark in the house that Solomon, the son of David, king of Israel, built. You need not carry it on your shoulders. Now serve the Lord your God and his people Israel. Prepare yourselves according to your father's houses, by your divisions as prescribed in writing in the writing of David the king of Israel, and the document of Solomon his son. And stand by the holy place, according to the groupings of the father's houses of your brothers, the lay people, and according to the divisions of the Levites, my father's household. And slaughter the Passover lamb, and consecrate yourselves, and prepare for your brothers to do according to the word of the Lord, thy Moses. Then Josiah contributed to the lay people. As Passover offerings for all who were present, lambs and young goats from the flock of the number 30,000, and 3,000 bulls, these were from the king's possessions. And his officials contributed willingly to the people, to the priests, to the Levites. Hilkiah, Zechariah, and Jehiel, the chief officers, the chief officers of the house of God, gave the priests out for the Passover offerings two thousand six hundred Passover lambs and three hundred bulls. Kaniah also, the Shemin and Nathaniel, his brothers, and Hashbiah and Jael and Jezbad, the chiefs of the Levites, gave the Levites for the Passover offerings. 5,000 lambs and young goats and 500 bulls. Verse 10. When the service had been prepared for the priests, verse 10. When the service had been prepared for, the priests stood in their place and the Levites in their division according to the king's command. And they slaughtered the Passover lamb and the priests threw the blood that they received from them while the Levites played the sacrifice, sacrifices. And they set aside the burnt offerings, that they might distribute, distribute them according to the groupings of the fathers' houses of the lay people, to offer the Lord, as it was written in the book of Moses. And also they did with the bulls. And so they did with bulls. And they roasted the Passover lamb with fire according to the rule. And they boiled the holy offerings in pots, in cauldrons, and in pans, and carried them quickly to the lay people. And afterwards they prepared themselves and They prepared for themselves and for the priests, because the priests, the sons of Aaron, were offering the burnt offerings and the fat parts until night. So the Levites prepared themselves and for the priests. So the Levites prepared for themselves and for the priests, the sons of Aaron. The singers and the sons of Aspa were in their place according to the command of David, and Aspa and and Hemim and Jodhpur the king's seer and the gates keepers were at each gate they did not need to depart from their service for their brothers the Levites prepared for them verse 16 so all the service of the Lord was prepared that day to keep Passover and to offer burnt offerings to the altar of the Lord according to the command of the king Josiah and people and the people of Israel who were present kept the Passover at that time and the Feast of Unleavened Bread, seven days. No Passover like it had been kept in Israel since the days of Samuel the prophet. None of the kings of Israel kept such a Passover, as was kept by Josiah, and the priests and the Levites, and all Judah and Israel who were present, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem. In the eighteenth year of the reign of Josiah, the Passover was kept. Josiah killed in battle. Verse 20. After all this, when Josiah had prepared the temple, Necho, king of Egypt, went up to fight Cheresmen on the Euphrates, and Josiah went to meet him. But he sent envoys to him, saying, What have we to do with each other, king of Judah? 
I am not come against you this day, but against the house of which with which I am at war. And God has commanded me to hurry. See, supposing God, who is with me, lest he destroy you. Nevertheless, Josiah did not turn away from him, but disguised himself in order to fight with him. He did not listen to the words of Necho from the mouth of God, but came to fight in the plain of Medigo. And the archers of and the archers shot King Josiah, and the king said to his servants, Take me away, for I, for I am badly wounded. So his servants took him out of the chariot, and carried him to a second chariot, and brought him to, to Jerusalem. And he died and was buried in the tombs of his fathers. All Judah and Jerusalem mourned for Josiah. Verse 25. Jeremiah also uttered a, lam a lament for Josiah. And all the singing men and singing women have spoken of Josiah in the lament to this day. They made these a rule in Israel. Behold, they are written in the laments. Now the rest now the rest of the acts of Josiah and his good deeds according to what is written in the law of the Lord, and his acts first and last, behold, they are written in the book of kings of Israel and Judah. Chapter thirty six. Judah's decline. The people of the land took Jehoaz, the son of Josiah, and made him king of his father's place in his father's place in Jerusalem. Jehoaz was twenty-three years old when he began his reign, and he reigned three months in Jerusalem. Then the king of Egypt deposed him, dispo, yeah, deposed him in Jerusalem, and laid the land a tribute of a hundred talents of silver and a talent of gold and a talent of gold and the king of egypt made elakim his brother king over judah and jerusalem and changed his name to Jokim. but Necho took josiah his brother and carried him to egypt Jokim was 25 years old when he began to reign and he reigned 11 years in jerusalem he did what was evil in the sight of the lord his god against him came up nebuchadnezzar king of babylon nebuchadnezzar king of babylon and bound him in chains to take him to Babylon. Nebuchadnezzar also carried part of the vessel of the house of the Lord to Babylon and put it, put them in his palace in Babylon. Now, the rest of the acts of Jehoram and the abominations he did and what was found against him, behold, they are written in the book of kings of Israel and Judah. And Jehoram, his, and Jehoram his son, reigned in his place. Jehoram was 18 years old when he became king. And he reigned three months and ten days in Jerusalem. He did what was evil in the sight of the Lord. Verse 10. In the spring of the year, King Nebuchadnezzar sent. Verse 10. In the spring of the year, King Nebuchadnezzar sent and brought him to Babylon with precious vessels of the house of the Lord and made his brother Zedekiah king over Jerusalem and Judah. Zedekiah was 21 years old when he began his reign, and he reigned 11 years in Jerusalem. He did what was evil in the sight of the Lord his God. He did not humble himself before Jeremiah the prophet, who spoke from the mouth of the Lord. He also rebelled against King Nebuchadnezzar, who had made him swear by God. He stiffened his neck and hardened his heart against turning to the Lord, the God of Israel. And the officers of the priests, yes, and the officers of the priests and the people likewise were exceedingly unfaithful, following the, all the abominations of the nations. And they polluted the house of the Lord that he made holy in Jerusalem. The Lord God, the Lord, the God of their fathers, sent persistently to them by his messengers became, because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. But they kept mocking the messengers of God, despising him, despising his words and scoffing at his prophets until the wrath of the Lord was against his people, until there was no remedy. Jerusalem captured and burned. Therefore he brought up against them the king of Shalidans, who killed their young men with the sword in the house of their sanctuary, and had no compassion to the young man or virgin, old man or aged. He gave them all into his hand, and the Lord, sorry, and the vessels of the house of God, great and small, and the treasures of the house of the Lord, and the treasures of the kings and of his princes, princes. All of these were brought to Babylon. And they burned the house of God, and broke down the wall of Jerusalem, burned all its palaces with fire and destroyed all of its precious vessels. Verse 20. He took into he took into exile in Babylon those who had escaped from the sword, and they became servants to him, 
and to his sons until the establishment of the kingdom of Persia to fulfill the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah until the land had enjoyed its Sabbath Sabbaths all the days all the days it lay desolate it kept Sabbath to fulfill 70 years the proclamation of Cyrus now in the first year of Cyrus king of Persia that the word of the Lord by mouth of Jeremiah Sorry, verse 22. Now, in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, so that he made proclamation throughout the throughout all his kingdom and also put it in writing. Thus says Cyrus, king of Persia, the Lord God of heaven has given me all the kingdoms of the earth and has charged me to build him a house in Jerusalem, which is Judah, at Jerusalem, which is in Judah. Whoever is among you of all his people, may the Lord his God be with him. Let him go up. Let him go with him and bless. Please come back tomorrow so we can continue our journey together. Bye.